I had a go at everybody this morning, journalists in particular, uh, and uh, I want you to realise uh, this is for the National, Callum Beard, and uh, also to say to you that uh, my father finished up as a reader in the Herald. All, all our families, um, both my mother's family and my father's family, were all involved in uh, newspapers, etc. Uh, my father was an FOC um, at uh, um, Albion Street um, and the, the Sunday uh, papers, etc. And he did work for um, in Port Dundas for uh, John Lang, DC Thompson and John Lang, and was one of the representatives that went to um, the House of Lords um, to verify that uh, DC Thompson and John Lang had refused them to uh, have a union. They they had shut locked them out, um, and they, they they couldn't do that, you know. Um, and they, uh, first of all, first of all, I, I was lambasting the uh, the national because this business of um, you're letting everybody see and and have their their, their piece etc. Um, and the Alex Salmon had said something about the Queen's to keep out. I'll, I'll not be saying it right because he would get me that angry because I want to be working with him and the, the other thing is I don't want to be a politician I'd rather eat worms and see when people hear that that's when they think oh I'll pick our brains and I'll use that and that you know dubious people jump out of labour into SNP and all the rest of it um, you'll know them by their fruits take a look at Knightswood which was the gem, you know, um, Donald Dewar's patch, um, bloody disgrace. Um, and the, the other thing I, I wanted to say was, I want you to know that um, Pat Kane, now, what, what did I not owe Pat Kane? You know, because he is so excellent a journalist, you know, and uh, and I read Fintan O'Toole and, and, and all these people, and uh, Kerevan, um and uh, and Patrick Harvey and um although I've got dual nationality and although I, I can vote when I live in America I can vote there. Um and uh, the thing about uh, who I vote for I vote for people I, I, I try and figure it out um uh, etc. But I'm so grateful to Pat Kane that he has been telling me about books, Mr. Pinketty. And also uh, Patrick Harvey told me about Avaz. Um, and the, there's another book um, and it's about uh, when I found out that you couldn't really get um, fresh yeast anymore. That's when I started searching and, and searching things. Um, and the, another book. And I've been advertising that on my website as well. Um, and it's uh, somebody that's just letting people know about who owns what. And for a, for a country that makes whiskey um, and deals with barley, and we don't even own porridge, for goodness sake. Um, anyway, all of this is a shock, and I don't know what possessed me. But last night I just, oof, I thought, you know what? Let me get this out because let's deal with the bottom line here. But as far as the national goes, oh, I'm so grateful, you know. Um, and when it comes to um, next time around with Trump, you know, there isn't any way that I would vote for anybody that I wasn't too sure about or whatever. Um, uh, and uh, I'll be SNP till I die. Uh, you know, I'm a lifetime member and I pay regularly i did the jumbo sales and everything um when they were all laughing at us about smp and the uh, patrick harvey um and mr kervin i've got everything there mr kervin and I, I did the course on the legal nurse consulting um not to make money <laughs> that's not the name of the game with me but i've got to protect the nurses because what they found out in america was that uh, you know, um, 
the, the amount of nurses that were just being taken to court. And the way it is in, in America, it's so different, you know. Um, you get a job to do, and you can't do the job the way that you want to do the job. Because it's your time and motion study, you're only getting paid for, for that amount. So just do that and that's it. You can't work like that. You can't. But of course, none of them know anything about nursing or medicine or anything. So that's why it's two different systems. The other thing is, I hope to um, do the very best that I can over here to get things back to the way, because you have to live in. And it has to be six months where they find out if you've really got it or not. And if you've not got it, you'll go to the wall and that's it. You know, um, and you need to live in because um, you need to know where everything is. You need to be part of that. And the other thing is, they, they, they talk about the NHS, but, you know, the, the, the models and ethics and etc. And they, when they actually got the cleaners back in, um, well, that was okay. But the only point is, it's not the cleaners that we had uh, who were honourable people and that we weren't allowed to give her out to or, or whatever. Um, there was a, a mechanism. We were not allowed to call them by their first name. Um, and we were not a, and it was my responsibility as a junior to um, see that the toilets were all right. And I thought, well, my granny, who was say uh, profoundly deaf, you know, she taught me how to scrub a floor. And I thought, it's good enough for my granny, it's good enough for me. And I did. And I got everything just like that. And then I said to the two um, ladies that um, it was my responsibility to make sure that that was clean. And uh, if, if they could, could you keep it as clean as this? And if there's any problems with the patients spitting or whatever, you know, just let me know. And I'm, I'll ask him to them and, uh, and, and I'll be cleaning it up because that's my job. Anything out the the body, fluids. It's the nurse's job to clean it up. So you, you see the, the magnitude, I've got to sell something. And we're so far back because they, what they did was they, 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 the doctors, <laughs> they wanted the money for the machines. And now we've got the machines, machines, and nobody's actually doing anything in the way of examining anybody. And they... Folk that have got stuff that, that's so misdiagnosed and what a system we've got. Because over there, they can sue the ass off you if they want to. But over here, it's, it's just not impossible. And since they took away from a uh, from people the, the, um, the right for legal aid, you know, for people that, that needed it, etc. We don't have a democracy anymore. And, and the Birmingham people... Uh, they, they they know that because the police chief there, uh, this journalist said that um, he knew that that was a wrongful decision, and so the six of them got out of jail, um, and they, but they wouldn't give up who it was that had done it. So how could it be called a democracy? Anyway, I I, I wouldn't want anybody to think ill of me, and that I'm not honourable, um, and how I feel about them. Um, or that I would ever um, just blanket that away or whatever. I'll look to see what they do for people. And as far as I'm concerned, I teach using the Maslow theory for self-actualization. Um, and as soon as um, I, I, Trump, we didn't want him, we wanted Carly Fiorini because of the drug thing and the fact that she'd had a daughter and that was it. But she was female and couldn't take the lineup of Republicans all going at each other with their balls and everything, the locker room stuff, and and they, he set about them, and he got there. But he wasn't a politician. He was not a politician. He was a businessman, and that was it. And now we've got Trump's name, racism, um, and the the people that went through the Holocaust, etc. They're the ones that are worried sick about them and, and whatever. So. Chickens are coming home to roost, and half of America voted for Trump. And don't tell me there's no corruption, because if you've got democracy, you've got corruption somewhere. And if you want to keep order, um, that means that uh, the, the the police, everybody, uh, you, it, it can't be 
that they, they're just acting on, on their own or, or whatever. You don't have a hold of them. So two different systems, same language, two different peoples, two different approaches to everything. Um, and they... I hope that's information for you, Callum. And, they, and as far as being a journalist, well, <laughs> I'm enjoying my writing. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Um, and uh, I had to add this bit um, and to say thank you to Mr. Uh, Pat Kane and to uh, <clears throat> Mr. Harvey um, for all the things that you said about Nicola. And I know I sent um, the magazine to you um, and, uh, and I'll be in touch. Um, and I'm glad to see um, there was a new... A green in, and I enjoyed everything that she had to say. Everything. She just hit the nail absolutely on the head. So, as I say, um, I just thought I would add that. Um, and I've subscribed to you again, of course. Um, and I'm, I'm actually subscribing to some of the, um, the foreign papers. You know, I've got the one about the Figaro, etc. And the uh, La Monde and the... Um, I'm also going to do all of the local papers and put everything back out again for people to get to know each other because we're all different. We're all like different bits of patchwork, etc. We're all Scottish, etc. And we all need to get back together again. Um, and and, and that's, that's the way that it should be. You know, so as I say, um, let me finish with this now and just to say thank you. <laughs>